Hello guys, what's up? Arthur here. And today I want to start off my new long story short series about characters guide with Dai Luke or Di Luke or whatever you want to call him. And I want to start with him because he's my secondary DPS. I use him and Klee the most time and I already did one video about Klee. It's a long one so I'm gonna probably be doing another one, a, a really short one about Klee. So I want to start off today with dialogue. So what are the pros, pros and cons about dialogue? I don't think dialogue has any any big cons. I mean, I think the only cons he has is that he's a five star unit and it's really hard to get uh, constellations on him. So probably if you have like let's say a Xinyang with full constellation. I don't know if she can be a better DPS than Dialog, so um, if you get one of him, take, uh, keep in mind that you're gonna probably be stay with him at Constellation 0 forever or for a long time if you're a future player, because it's really hard to get him. And another uh, con of him, I would say that the look is a, I mean, mostly he's a selfish one, you want to stay with him uh, long in future, you can actually just do 3 E's, use his ultimate and change. But if you want to do the maximum DPS and a good rotation for Dialog would be you can use his E and you can use up to 4 normal attacks and then you use the E again and then you can do again 4 attacks and then you use your E you know because in this time you're gonna get more particles and you can land more hits I mean if you have nice sub DPS's you want to do this but if you want to give a burst damage or let's say that you're killing a pyro a dredge spine or any of these flowers so maybe you want to do just the three times fast and then maybe prop your ultimate and um, yeah the cons about dialogue is that he's really strong he has the uh, highest uh, attack base in the game and um, he's a really I mean he's not a really cheap unit to build but you're gonna need to use um, his artifact set. You're gonna be wanting the Charisma Witch of Flames. This is the best artifact set for Dialogue. There's no doubt. Everybody's um, agree with that because this set is just made to Dialogue, you know. And it can be a really a little bit hard to farm four pieces of the set right here because you need four pieces with four main stats and sub stats. So this can take a lot of resin, but as soon as you get, it's just it's just amazing. You know, and his skills. Uh, this is normal attack, everybody knows this, and you should be investing first in your ultimate and your E, you know, because this is where your damage gonna come from. As soon as you use Dialog uh, ultimate, you're gonna get uh, all your attacks to become pyro for, I mean, for 12 seconds, which is the uh, ultimate uh, duration. So you're gonna be always doing pyro damage. So. For stats, what do you want? Critical rate, critical damage, and pyro damage. Pyro bonus damage is what we have right here. If you have a little bit of energy recharge, that is not bad, but you don't really need it because his ultimate is just 40 energy and one a 12 second cooldown. So it's really, really nice for me. For weapons, I mean, there are not a lot of good free to play weapons for him, I would say. I mean, I do use a prototype archive at refinement rank 5. And this is not really great for Dialog. This can be a really, really great for Razor or for for anybody else, for Shang Yun maybe, because Dialog just gives Pyro damage. And this 40, 480% 40, attack is gonna be physical damage bonus. So when I crit, this damage is like a, around 12k damage every 15 seconds. This is not great, you know. This is this is not great. I was thinking about getting the battle pass weapon for him, but it's just so hard to keep those stacks because whenever you get a stack, a uh, hit, sorry, you lose one stack. So early games, I would use the debate club. is is great early game if you're just starting the game and you got the dialogue. This is gonna be good for you for a long time. For the, for the four stars. I mean, this one I don't recommend again because it's physical damage bonus. I mean, Rain's Lashes gives you elemental mastery, so um, they're not that great, that many weapons. The other blacksmith weapon it gives you def defense, so if you want, just go for the prototype until you get something better in the gacha, like a 5 star weapon, they're all nice. So I would recommend this here for the 4 stars because even though the, the passive here is not that great for dialogue. 
I mean, you still get a super high base attack and attack percentage, so it's great, you know, it's great. As I said before, the artifacts are gonna want to use the um, Prism and Witch of Flames for peace because this set is just meant by that look. Because when you use his E three times, it's gonna increase this uh, 15 pyro bonus damage to 37 for five. And die look right now is the only unit we can which can use his E three times. You know, one, two, and three. No one. Klee can use two times and mostly of the other ones they can just use one time. So this set was meant to be for Dilux. So the substat, as I said before, you are always gonna be wanting critical rate and critical damage. If you have attack here as well, it's nice. Like I said, the attack percentage is it's better. So here I didn't get any better feathers. I have a little bit of attack and critical damage. And uh, my here was a really nice one with 20% critical damage and some critical rate and uh, for the goblet you need as soon as you can a pyro bonus damage I would recommend to leave this one for as a um, joker or as you guys can want to say this because this is really hard to get and uh, I did I did get a little bit of attack and critical damage and the flat attack and energy charge so not bad at all and you're gonna be wanting to run here critical damage you know because Dialog in his ascension he gets critical rate which is really really great so you want to have around 50 to 60 critical damage and 120 or more critical damage bonus this would be a, a nice build you know right now I'm sitting on 2000 almost 2200 attack that's nice and right now we're gonna talk the teams you should be using or the better teams with Dialog I really enjoy using this team I'm doing right now here with Jin because I do use this very decent set on Jin. So whenever I uh, use E with Dialog, I just change to Jin and I get I get more extra 40% power bonus damage. I use Fischl here, but again, you can use instead of um, instead of Jin um, a Bennett or any other healer. This is just a healer. Um, and I use uh, Fischl here because of the, the bird, because I have Fischl at Constellation 6, so she's a great sub DPS outside the field. And I just use this guy here because, I mean, this guy is pretty much good in every comp, but it's like I say to you guys, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be doing a showcase with these teams and you guys gonna understand what I'm talking right now. And actually, I'm gonna be killing the Pyro Regis fine, and you guys, oh sorry, you probably made a little bit of sound, I just punched my <laughs> my microphone right now, sorry guys. And um, I'm gonna be showing this Pyro Regis fine here, so we can see Dilux damage is still high, even against a Pyro unit. And what you want to do is break as soon as possible with Shinkyu, the core, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat a little bit with Dilux Pyro skills. I'm gonna use Jin to increase my Pyro damage, leave the bird on field and let the magic happen you know uh, you can also put I mean if you want the melt comps you can change Shinkyu for I used a lot of Kea as well it's just great because he can provide this melt two times damage you can also run Barbara if, don't, if you don't have Gene so D look it's pretty much great with I mean you can also run Dai look with Shangling and Barbara and um, and Kea is just a great great comp as well so if you have him he's he's a nice unit to build you know you want to have too many troubles building him so and he's a really really strong unit guy you, go, you guys gonna just see here let's prop the bird let's just break this here and then we got the ultimate and then you just you just explode the pen look look the damage guys look at the damage and then you just use the ultimate look this damage it's just it's just insane you know then you use E use an attack you see Shinkyu proking and we almost and we kill it one sit and then he's dead no food all my two my three support they are level 60 and they did a really really great job outside the field Fischl you just proc the the bird Shinkyu you come use his E you have the swords if you have ultimate with your ultimate just ch change to die look one give two basic attacks another one two or three or maybe four if you want basic attacks and then proc the E and then you proc the ultimate so for this one like I said I don't want this video to be too big if you guys have any doubt any questions any stuff about dialogue just ask in the comments and I'm gonna be asking you guys 
If you like this video, if it was any helpful for you, please like and subscribe. This helps me a lot to keep going. And I hope you guys have a nice week and see you around.